Hey guys, today I will share with you a workflow that I just created to make the maximum money out of WAP clipping. If you haven't heard about what is WAP, it is basically a website that people start campaigns on just to get more views on their actual channels or content. The idea behind this website is after you create an account on WAP, you can go here and then go to discover. You will find a lot of sections here. Select the content rewards and then go see all content rewards. And you will find multiple campaigns here of people sharing actual content like their main YouTube channels and ask Clippers to do some clips for them and post them on their own YouTube channels like the Clippers YouTube channels and they will be paying a certain amount of money per view. So as you can see here, all of these are paying. So for example, this one is paying $3 per 1000 views, $2 per 1000 views, etc. So it's either videos or music, videos or even music. Like it, they will pay you to put their music in your videos. So if you go here, for example, I selected this David Clipping Hub. So basically he's asking people to clip content from his YouTube channel. Of course, there are always requirements. You can read them here before you start actually clipping for this guy. And then you can open the assets, etc. He put his YouTube channel and he is asking people to create clips off of his videos and then post them on your YouTube channel. You will have to submit a video here. Let's say you, you go to his YouTube channel. You select any of these videos you choose and you go through it, watch it find the best clip or clips out of it and then go on your editing software clip the video add captions add music or whatever so after that you will have to upload it to your youtube channel or tiktok or instagram and then come here submit the link of your video and then this one will be tracking your views and it will pay you per 1000 views as you can see here it's paying two dollars per 1000 views to avoid all of the hustle there and uh, going through all of the picking editing uploading well maybe not uploading for now but picking and editing the video or the clip i have created this workflow that will do all of that for you in second all of this workflow is 100 free i haven't used any paid apis here they're all free i will tell you the tools of course i have used minio to be our storage for this video i have used the nca toolkit which is you can see in this github repo a youtuber named steven gpo created it basically offers a lot of endpoints that you can use locally on your machine without paying for any api it will split the video, transcribe the video, create captions, etc. I have also used FFmpeg, which will be dealing with the videos on my local machine. Let's dive into the actual workflow. I started with a trigger, which is a form trigger. To add this trigger, just right click in your workflow, click on add note, and then look for forms select forms under triggers select the on new n8n form event if you open this trigger as you can see here you will have to configure it i gave it a title and then i'll be asking users to input a part of the video url on youtube so let's say you are working for a campaign for this guy you will go select a video from his channel you go to the video and then go to the link of the video and select just this part after the equal here and then go back to n8n if we click on test workflow here of course i put video url and then you paste that part only and the process will start and the workflow will trigger and it will provide you with a actual caption video vertical however you like it the second step will be actually downloading that exact video on your local computer so you'll be able to interact with it using n8n etc so for this we are using a execute command node so right click click on add node look for execute command here it will give you something like this of course you will have to configure it here you will have to say the command that you're gonna use you can pause the video here and copy all of this of course these one here will be the output of the form event basically the input of the users basically the part of the link that we just copied there you can pause the video and copy this command of course for this you will have to install this library on your local machine to do that just go to command prompt go to your cmd and then type in pip install yt dlp and then install it this one will work only if you have python installed on your local machine so you'll have to do that also you will have to download ffmpeg to download ffmpeg i'll put the link in the description all you have to do is go to this link scroll down a bit select ffmpeg git essentials and then install it once it's installed you will have to extract it on your local machine and then copy the path uh, of the installation folder that you just extracted go to your environment variables on your local machine and then add that path to the path variable or you can do just like me and just use this argument here and then between these quotes just put the path to the ffmpeg bin folder that you have just extracted okay once that's done this one basically will download the video for you as you can see here 
and then once we have downloaded it we will need to read it inside n8n for that we'll be using this node here to add just right click click on add node look for read and then select this read slash write files from disk and then select read file from disk open it here and you will have to configure it keep this to read files from disk and for the file selector it will be what the user inputted in the form of course you will have to execute the previous nodes and then drag and drop it here uh, from the output of the form submission node and then add .mp4 because we're dealing with the videos all right once we have done that we have to upload the video that we have read from our local machine into minio which will be our storage if you don't know how to install minio or the nca toolkit i have previously made a video on that you can check it it's in the description as well as a video on how to host or self-host n8n on your local machine it is a must for this video we are working with a self-hosted version of n8n okay going back to this we will have to right click click on add node look for s3 again and then select s3 and for that we will have to select the upload the file action it will give you something like this you will have to add the credential in the video i mentioned before on how to include menu you will be able to find out how to include the credential in here for the resource keep it to file operation upload you will have to include your bucket name here where to get your bucket name of course once you installed menu you will be able to redirect to the menu interface on your browser and then you will find this interface you will have to create a bucket and then give it a name i have already created a bucket here its name is nca toolkit so that's why i'm choosing it here so put in the nca toolkit name for the file name we'll be using the output of this load video node here so just drag it and drop it and then put it here turn on binary file and then input binary field to data and then just leave it like that basically this one will upload the video to menu so we can get a url that we can use in our next http request which is this one we'll have to take in the video use the nca toolkit to transcribe the video so for that we'll be using an http request node right click select add node and then look for http requests Select it and then you will have to configure it. Put the method to host for the URL. Put this URL, which is localhost slash media slash transcribe. This one will give you a transcription of the video. If you have deployed N8N using Docker, you will have to change this localhost to docker.host.internal. If not, just keep it to localhost. Okay, for the authentication, again, you will understand all of this in my previous video. So it will be just like this header auth. It will be the API key that you have set when you were installing NCA Toolkit. Select the and body the body type to json specify body using json and then pause the video and copy this body here uh, or this request here for the media url it will have to start like this nca toolkit is the name of my bucket if you have created another name for your bucket then you will have to change it in here this one here will be the file name that you have got from the load video here it will be something like this you will have to drag and drop the file name and put it there for the include srt you have to turn it to true it will give you actual timestamps on your transcription so after that we will be passing all the transcription with the timestamps to let's say an ai agent i have used the basic llm chain for this using gemini 2.0 flash as you can see here again to include it right click add node look for basic llm chain included for the source for prompt click on define below and then you will have to drag and drop the output of the uh, transcribe http request in here it will be available for you here i just haven't executed it yet you will have to execute the previous nodes and drag it and drop it here click on add prompt and then select a system prompt i gave it this prompt here telling it that i will provide a transcript and you will have to extract a one minute video a uh, clip out of it meet this criteria of course you can pause and read this one of course is customizable i told it to generate me one clip you can say generate me multiple clips and change this to array and then you will have to change also the logic i'm still working on this this is the v0 of the workflow i will keep iterating and sharing with you in the near future i will try to make it as best as possible for you guys all right once we have done that we will have to go in the bottom left here, click on add model, and then it will give you a list of LLM providers you can choose from OpenAI, Mistral, Grok. I have chosen Gemini chat model, which is this one here. I gave it my credential, so click on create new credential and then give it the API key that you got from the Google AI Studio. And then here, select your model that you're gonna be using. For my case, it's Gemini 2.0 flash. And uh, notice here that I gave it a output format, so we'll have to turn on the require specific output format. It will give you a warning message here that says that you have to add an output parser. Just click on the word output parser here, and then it will let you choose from a list of three items 
items, select the structured output parser, give it a generate from JSON example and just give it this example right here, which will follow the actual output format that we have specified in the uh, system prompt. All right, this node will give you a timestamp of a good clip, like a good one minute, 30 seconds, whatever that you have specified in the prompt. So for my case, it will give me an object just like this filled with a transcript, the start time and the end time. I will take that. I will pass it to an HTTP request again, same as how you did before, connect them to the NCA toolkit. This one will take the timestamp of the clip and then extract it from the main video and create a separate video from it. So the method post this URL, of course, if you have deployed N8N on Docker, just change this again to docker.host.internal. Select this endpoint here. You can pause the video and copy it. Again, for the authentication, it's the same as we did before. You can follow the video. Select the send body activated and then body content type. Select JSON, specify body select using json and then you can pause the video and copy this body request here it has two items a video url which will be the video url that we have uploaded to the menu storage so it will be this link again starting with host it's because nca toolkit and menu are both on docker so that's why i'm using host.docker.internal here again slash the name of the bucket that you have created for my case it's nca toolkit as you can see here slash again the file name that you have read using the read files from desktop or from local machine and then drag and drop the file name it will be from this one drag and drop the file name here and then for the splits it's an array of objects in this case i'm taking only one clip so only one split here it you will have to pass at the start and end time these ones will be the output of the basic llm chain it will be a drag and drop for the start and drag and drop for the end just after the word start or end here you will have to include this replace comma with point because the transcript timestamps will have commas instead of point at some points that you have to replace it with point so the NCA toolkit HTTP request will uh, not give you a uh, mismatch error or a JSON type error. So yeah, this one here will give us a separate clip from the main video. And just because the video that we're working with, like this one, for example, it is a landscape video. So we'll have to turn it to a vertical video just because we're going to post it on Instagram shorts or TikTok. And to be more pleasing and follow the aspect ratio of that, we will be using FFmpeg again. So uh, another execute command node. So right click, click on add node, set execute execute command here edit and you will have to configure it here of course if you haven't added ffmpeg to the path you will have to get the actual path of the executable here so it will be something like this dash y dash i which is the path for the input video which is which is actually the url of the clip that we extracted using this nca toolkit here it will be the output of that node so drag it and drop it here and again just after the file url word you will have to add point replace replace the host.docker.internal with local host just because ffmpeg is on our local machine and the output of nca toolkit is in docker so we'll have to turn it to local host because it doesn't work only just like that and then you will have to use these settings just telling it that we are gonna use the 916 aspect ratio and then we are going to crop from the center here you can change this if your video that you're cropping of course uh the main speaker is not in the center of the shot it will be a bit to the right or a bit to the left you will have to adjust it and then use this preset ultra fast just to make it not take a lot of time and then specify the output to be the output.mp4 which will be the name of our output file now we have got a vertical video we will have to again load it because this one will save it in our local machine and we'll have to import it to n8n so we'll be using the read files from desktop node again select it to read files from disk and then select the name of the file that you have specified here which is the output.mp4 so select output.mp4 after that we got the binary data of the video of the vertical video we will have to upload it again to our menu storage so again add an s3 node here file the upload uh, the operation to upload the same bucket name of ours and then for the file name we will give it a unique identifier which will be basically again the this part of this link that we have inputted in the form so that's why we're taking it from the form submission that will be here you will have to drag it and drop it here and then just add uh, underscore output dot mp4 just to give it a unique name and, and avoid overriding the actual videos and then 
select binary file and input binary field to data we have uploaded it now to menu it will give us a url that we can pass to the nca toolkit so for the last http request which will be contact on the nca toolkit to create the captions for our video that is why we are going to use the video slash caption endpoint of course you will find all of the documentation for these endpoints here in this github repo i will put it in the description for you you will have all of the documentation you can click and then read the documentation on your own of course the authentication i have cleared it in the previous video so i'll not go through it again select the send body again json to in the body content type specify body to use in json and then you will have to pause the video and copy this body request you will need the video url again it will be http host.docker.internal because menu and nca toolkit are both hosted on docker slash the name of the bucket and slash the name or the unique name that we gave to our vertical video which will be the last part of the url here underscore output.mp4 for the settings you can pause these are default settings i'm just giving a customization to the to the captions like colors bold etc underline etc specifying those type of things and then give the id to g drive 5 leave it like that and just like that we have finished our workflow let's run this workflow just test workflow select the video url let's say in wap we got this video that we, we need to clip select this last part go to video url and put it here submit and wait for the workflow to finish as you can see downloading the youtube video right now finish downloading it's loading it from the disk upload them to s3 menu transcribe in the video just a reminder this is just a basic workflow or the first iteration of the workflow i'm creating i will try to automate everything next from creating multiple clips to the uploading process on your channel so again as you can see now the llm has finished selecting the clip it's now extracting the clip using the nca toolkit and after that we are trying to turn the video to vertical from landscape we are loading uploading to s3 and then we are now creating the caption for the video and just like that we have got our video captioned and then we are ready to take it and upload it all right so now let's see the end result of our workflow if we go here to caption video we should be able to see its output so it gave us a response the response is the url to our end result so all we have to do to get it is copy this url open a new browser window paste here we're not done yet as you can see here it is host.docker.internal this will not work if we click enter so we'll have to change this to localhost and then hit enter once we have done that as you can see it automatically downloaded the end video we got so if we click here we should be able to preview it anywhere in our lives where we've wasted wasted time wasted energy uh, wasted our light force because essentially what happens All right, is as that you can see we got a video vertical captioned and ready to be posted so yeah after that since we got our video we can upload that video to any of our socials let's say instagram shorts or whatever take the url of the video we uploaded and then go back to the WAP page click on submit and then here paste the link of the video you just uploaded and then click submit of course after that WAP will be tracking the video progress and it will be paying you per 1000 views and just like that guys we have finished automating the clipping process to gain the most money with minimum effort on WAP of course this is the first iteration of this workflow I'm planning to add more to it of course I will keep you guys updated in the next videos just let me know if you are interested in seeing the progress of this workflow i'm planning to automate even the upload process include more clips other than just one clip per video and background music etc so yeah if you're interested just let me know in the comment yeah this has been it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i found it useful if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial goodbye